Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at Cast Iron Cookware, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today we're going to be talking about testing for lead and how to do it with cast iron cookware, and we're going to be doing that coming right up. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. The purchase of this product helps keep this channel going, and I just want to say thank you so very much. So let's get on into the video. Right off the bat, I just want to say if you have a piece of cast iron cookware that has tested positive for lead, it can no longer be safe to use for cooking. You just need to discard it, get rid of it, make sure it can't be used by anybody else, even in the future. My personal preference is I'll take the piece outside, I'll take a sledgehammer to it, and I will crack it in half. Uh, make sure you wear safety glasses before you do that. Some people will take and drill holes in the piece. That way it can't be used again. The problem with that is you'll always have these people who seize the piece of cast iron and says, why do they put a hole in there? I'm just going to weld that up and it can still be used. So you want to make sure that it can't be repaired. So the sledgehammer is the way to go for me. But if you have a piece that is highly collectible and you just don't want to get rid of it, but you still don't want to use it, and you want to make a wall hanger out of it, you can drill a hole in it, you can put you a clock on there. Uh, you can also drill a hole in it and on the inside take something that's very permanent like fingernail polish and write lead contaminated. And that way, you know, you can keep the piece, know that you won't use it because every time you look at the inside, you'll see the little warning that it has lead contamination. Lead contamination is very bad for your health. You do not want to ingest lead at any percentage. So let's talk about how to test. I have used the 3M test kits before and I like them okay, but I have found that they're not as accurate as you really would like them to be, especially with cast iron. It may work fine when it comes to testing for lead paint, but I have come across this other little lead test kit and it's lead test swabs. I'm not even sure who the maker is. The uh, active ingredient is uh, sodium rhodosinate, or ever how you want to say that. There are 60 test swabs in this little uh, package and I didn't pay much for it. It says it has a shelf life of up to two years. So I suppose as long as it's sealed. Now it had a seal on it plus it has this little uh, I suppose silica gel on the inside to kind of keep it dry. Now I purchased this one on Amazon. I will leave a link in the video description below of how you can pick these up. Just remember that it is an affiliate link and I do receive a small percentage of the purchase if you choose to purchase this. But let's go ahead and take a look how you use this. I didn't personally want to contaminate a, a beautiful piece of cast iron. So I went ahead and took some lead and kind of rubbed it across this wrench. Now the way that you use these swabs is, here's one of the swabs, is you take a little bit of water, you get the swab wet, and you just rub it on your cast iron or whatever piece you're testing. There you go, that is a positive test. It turns red. Now you might say, I don't want to put that chemical on my cast iron. Well, you don't have to. There's a way to keep from having to do that. This is what you'll do. One of my favorite little tools is a magic eraser. You can take that magic eraser and take the piece that you're planning on testing, rub it really well on the area that you're wanting to test, and you'll have a little bit of residue Okay, take your test swab, get it wet, take your magic eraser, and just roll the chemical across your little piece of magic eraser. And we don't have any red whatsoever. So that piece is safe. 
Okay, now I'm going to take another piece of my magic eraser and I'm going to cut it off. And that's all I've done is just cut it off because, you know, you want to save this, you know, because you can do multiple tests, multiple pieces. And you can even cut it even smaller, but this is a nice little handy size to use. So let's do another test on a piece that we know has lead contamination. Okay, I'm just going to rub it across there. Now we're going to take our same swab that is still wet. And we're going to rub it across. You know, see there, we have red. That is a positive test for lead. You'll throw this out and your piece that has been used for this particular test. Here's a picture of a positive and negative test side by side. So you can tell them apart and you'll be able to recognize it if you have that. So check this out. Now, if you have a piece that is really rusty, I would suggest clean it really well first because you'll wind up having a lot of rust. But just rub until you feel like that you've got a nice sample on your magic eraser. Apply a little water to your swab and just rub it on there. If it turns red, you are positive. If it doesn't, then you're not, so you're good. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and got something out of it. If you have, please do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I promise I'll keep more of them coming. You can also check out Cast Iron Cookware on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Check out the Cast Iron Cookware Facebook group. It's really growing. It's full of people who love cast iron, love sharing, and connecting. You will find a link to this product and also a link to the sites that I mentioned in the video description. And I just want to say thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before you go, I just want to share something with you really quickly. In James chapter 1, verse 2 through 4, it says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into divers temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. I just want to say, share the word and be a blessing.